Okay. Here. This is what I just cut out with my cook it with the pattern that I'm going to put on my blog. And it has lots of extras. Flowers. Um, some scallops. Some butterflies. And then just little extra pieces to add to your butterfly like that. To put on top of it. Or you could use the outline like that. And so these are also what is on the pattern that I just gave you. Now if you were cutting it out yourself you wouldn't have these score lines right here. You would have to basically do that yourself. So what I did was I cut out some three by five and a half paper and that's gonna go in like this um, and then we're gonna fold it up and depending how much paper I cut out 25 but maybe I need to take out 10 you could strap this pot over here just like that it should go over looks like this needs to be a little longer so I'm gonna fix that before I give it to you it looks like it needs to be up all the way to the end and then that way you can put all your 25 papers in it but what I suggest you do is if you're hand cutting this that you look for where you have your pen marks and place it on the inside like this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the hot glue in between these two lines now here's my scoreboard um, it says to for better results which probably is and probably for that too is to go on the one fourth mark and score it down on both sides. So one fourth, score it down on this side and then score it down to flip it over and score it down on the other side. And you should do that with all your pages, have a score line. It looks like it's melted. So I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to go right over the middle. I have my, just fill the whole center up with the glue gun, the whole thing. Just make sure it's thick and it's on there well. Now, if you don't have a your story, this is when you would take, I don't I probably wouldn't do as many as 20, I would do 20, take 20 papers and put it right in the center on top of that glue gun, that glue. But instead, since I have a US story, I'm going to take, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to let it dry just like that so that it's completely dry. Now if you were using your, your story, you would take this and put it in the center and then close it when it's completely dry. Then, then you take your your story and you place it inside here. Push it all the way in. so that it clips, sticks on its own and you press the bind button and you let it do its work make sure all your cards are straight looks like some of mine didn't quite make it well I'm going to do it anyway <laughs> 
put it in there and you let it go. Okay, then you take this out and then you put it in here and you let it dry. It says for at least, let it dry for at least five minutes. Then when you pull it out, I let it dry. <laughs> it should look like this. See, it has the glue on the bottom. You can see it, it's dry. You can see that it's... Then when you open it, all the pages should be bind to the into your book. The only thing is, there you go. I have a lovely purse book. I didn't decorate mine. I, like I said, I added the extras. You could add a butterfly on here or some 3D flowers and and then have a, a notebook but I wouldn't add it to 3D you know you don't want to add it to 3D because you want to be able to write on it so you could just put this down write on it craft on it put pictures on it you can make a scrapbook you can make it a notebook make it anything that you want and that's how you do it homemade purse um, notebook I think it's gonna be really cute once you get it all decorated and I will decorate it and post a picture and and like I said since this page is white if you make it into a scrapbook it is big enough where you could add scrap paper and pictures down here and you can have just a little cute gift for your daughter if you're going to make it into a scrapbook I suggest you don't add 20 pages to it because then you're going to have 40 pages that you need to do and decorate you maybe just add 10 but it it works fine and it's really cute so thank you for watching. Ah, gotta get used to. I have these two plastic pages because I went and put some um, puffy paint and made little dots. Just put it on my board so that I stuck there. And that's what I do with that extra one. But like I said, I'll extend this up to the top so that you can close this all the way. Thank you for watching. Hi, it's Lori Jonas. I just wanted to show you my finished product. I added the butterflies that I put on here, the extra ones, and um, put it through the Sizzix machine. Well, not the Sizzix, my, my boutique machine. And I added the ribbon on here give it a little extra length and of course what I I did which I already showed you but what I also went and did is I rounded the corners of of all the papers that, which are in here and it's it's in there tight and well so This is my finished project. You just put it through the little slit that's right there and it closes. And it's a cute little purse. I'm going to give it to my daughter because she needs a notebook. So you could, if you're going to make a scrapbook page, I just suggest, you know, you add 15, maybe 10 pages to it. So, because then it can get to be a lot of work. But anyway, this is how I made the purse. Um, your story purse um, notebook by hand. Uh, well, of course, using the machine. I hope you enjoyed it, and 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 I and I gave all the die cuts that are on here, and even more. I put a few flowers on there too.